The lift wasn't working and he was in pain, so I tried to lift him on my own. Yes, it's bad. I'll need help. Can I help you with that? No, I'm good. Thanks. Workplace injuries hurt the most at home. I took this picture of my wife when she was near death, waiting for a liver transplant. And this is her now. Hello, I'm Lise Breckenridge. A liver transplant saved my life. What can I say? You be the judge. Your donation will help Canadians understand the importance of pledging to be an organ donor. And it will help save the lives of so many more. As it has for us. and welcome to Out of the Fog. Tonight we have a fun shop local show for you. My guests will be Darren Halloran with Always in Vogue, Kelly Mansell with Rocket Bakery, and Kim Padden with Wink and the Newfoundland Weavery. Join us after these messages. You're watching Rogers TV, St. John's. There are broken people out there like me. People who need to let go and move on. The Broken Heart Gallery. Love makes you do crazy, stupid, irrational things. Sometimes that small thought is all it takes. I need to know what she's done to me. I'm hell yeah. To lose control. Where is she? This is Rogers TV. And we're back. So, Darren from Always in Vogue, thank you so much for bringing all these uh, special items with us today. Um, as I had said to our, our uh, viewers at home, you know, it's, it's the time of year when people are getting, you know, getting that Christmas shopping done, but it's especially important to support local this year. Yes, we, you know, we really appreciate uh, you having me here mm -hmm. and we love, you know, we love the support local theme that's been going on this year, especially with everything going on in the world. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're, we're working at it and doing our best to, uh, you know, to push the support local, especially downtown this year. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a great job, you know. They have. And so um, Always in Vogue has um, been downtown, you know, for a long time. Um, it's a family-owned business, yes, right? Yeah. And um, I remember the first time I tried on a white mink coat. <laughs> and Always in Vogue was the sponsor of um, Miss Newfoundland and Labrador at the time, and I immediately fell in love. So let's take a look at some of these beautiful gift items today. Where will we start? Let's <laughs> let's have a look at those gloves. So these these are uh, leather gloves, Italian mm -hmm. lambskin, and we put the seal local seal on this on the uh, on the trim, and mm -hmm. they sell for one hundred and fifty dollars. So local seal, that's seal that's hunted here and processed in Newfoundland yes, and Labrador. Yes, Yeah, we try to keep everything within the province. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, seal is is a uh, a long time tradition in Newfoundland and Labrador, mm -hmm. and we try to keep it as local as possible. And so this seal purse, I love this. So you could wear this kind of over your shoulder or cross body. So I imagine you have a selection of, of purses. We do, yeah. We have, uh, this is a medium sized bag. We also mm -hmm. have a smaller size as well and one in a larger size as well. And seal just lasts so long. Like it looks 
the same year after year. I mean, my seal skin boots have to be four or five years old. And if you take care of it, it really does last. It, it really does, yeah. It is a shorter hair, and you know, you have to be a little bit more careful with it sometimes, but I mean, the product is beautiful. And so these slippers, uh, tell me about these. They have shearling on the inside, mm -hmm. uh, which will give you the extra warmth that you're not used to. Mm -hmm. And then we put Great the seal. Great for hardwood floors. That's right. And then we put the seal on the outside just to give it, you know, a bit of a fashion look. And so these are made um, kind of in a range of sizes, I imagine? We do, we do all sizes in ladies, and we do all sizes in men's as well. Okay. And do you have any kind of children's items? We do. We do uh, baby booties. Oh. We do bow ties for little boys. Uh -huh. We do jackets. My little girl has a few. And, uh, you know, we do with vests. Or if anybody comes in for something specific, we can certainly make it. The nice part about being a local business is all of our seal products are made in our store. Right. So we can basically cut customize anything that you were you'd be looking mm -hmm. for. And I imagine when people make an investment, for example, in a, a seal fur coat, um, you and I were chatting, you know, I I purchased a seal skin coat three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, you know, over time, I imagine people want to make some adjustments to those coats. So is Ab that something that... Absolutely. Yeah, no, we, uh, we're we pretty flexible. I mean, like I said, everything's done in our back rooms in our store mm -hmm. at 167 Water Street. And, you know, we we aim to please. So mm -hmm. if you came in with an idea or you wanted to moderate something, you know, with your coat, you loved it, but you wanted to update it a little bit, we can come in. You can see myself or Brooke or any of the furriers that are there and we can basically do anything for you. So I would think a furrier is different than a seamstress, right? Like it's a special type of trade or training that to work with Purse. It is. is. That right? It is. It's not the same as being the same as being a seamstress. Um, we use fur machines. Mm -hmm. uh, we do different techniques like blocking to stretch out the skin and the and to make it fit properly to you. We use patterns for all of our coats, mm -hmm. so it's not like we're just cutting and, and putting together. We go directly by patterns and styles, and we're always updating and always trying to be unique and different. And mm -hmm. you know, it's it is a special. Mm -hmm. uh, trade for sure. And so this is something I know, I know the teenage girls especially, <laughs> and, and the people who wish they were still teenage girls, uh, just <laughs> love these these uh, hats. They're so soft. Yeah, that one there that you're holding, it's 100% cashmere, mm -hmm. and the top we put on our own fox to oh, match. Oh, okay, so you, so they come, <clears throat> you order in this piece, and yes. then and then we and have then our ask. fox and we put okay. it on at the And the same as the gloves, right? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful, oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> And of course, as I was saying, my hands are always cold. So uh, the mittens are something that I really enjoy. So you make these in house as well, all in house yep. as well. Amazing. So a lot of people will come in, uh, you know, looking for, you know, the lighter color is our most popular as well. Right. But you know, a lot of people come in looking for different sizes or different colors, and yep. and we accommodate them. And so. Um, you know, people worry about fur and the weather here, uh, the damp weather, you know, kind of the, the sleet, mm -hmm. you know. Um, is fur a good product for Newfoundland weather? It's a great product for Newfoundland weather. weather. Um, I mean, you don't have to worry about wearing it when it's kind of a little bit damp outside. No, not at all. I mean, seal is a water animal, so, you right. know, it, it tends to, <laughs> to be in the water all the time. And, yeah. you know, the rain doesn't hurt it. And, you know, especially with all of our different types of furs, they're all water resistant. And so what about that scarf over there? What's uh... That's a wool scarf um, that we, we have them brought in from Montreal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we put the pom-poms on them after, and mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's just a beautiful feel and a nice different touch. If you're, you know, if you're buying, <gasps> we tend to push those on. Can I try it out? Oh, absolutely. Oh, I, it matches I what you have on it today. It does. <laughs> Look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful gift. So, uh, so how much would a scarf like this cost? That one there is $125 with the fox on it. Um, you can get them for a little bit cheaper without the fox on them as well. Okay. Oh, and you sell them both ways? We sell them both ways. Okay. Yeah. And so what about some of the, the price points for our viewers at home? Sure. I mean, these gloves here would range at $150. Um, the cashmere hats are $100. We also have an Angora hat, which is very warm as well. We sell uh -huh. those for $100. Mm -hmm. um, the seal slippers are $200. The seal mittens are $150. And the purse there, that, that one there is a medium-sized purse. That goes for $395. Mm -hmm. But we also have a smaller one that goes for $295 and a larger one that goes for $795. And so uh, would these be kind of some of your um, kind of 
big sellers right now? They are, for sure. I mean, you know, we carry, we like to tell people that, you know, we carry more than just fur as well. You know, yeah. we've, we've got men's cashmere coats and, and leather and cloth and shearling mm -hmm. and ladies as well, cashmeres and leather and cloth and shearling. But, you know, when you're, when you're looking for a stocking stuffer, these are amazing you know, products to give to somebody or, <laughs> you know, to, or to put under the tree. And, sure. uh, you know, this is something that we're continuously selling. Of course. And so tell us, um, how can people get in touch with Always in Vogue? This time of year, the big, the big push for us is on Facebook and on Instagram. We're always mm -hmm. posting three, four times a day. Um, we do have a website. It's alwaysinvogue.ca, which we're, mm -hmm. we're working right now to make it more, uh, business commerce so where they can where you can always purchase this online okay um, you know where we sell bigger items it takes a little bit yeah. more time to and your store is open. We're open, absolutely. Okay. So what's yeah. your hours at this uh, store? Starting next week, we'll be open nine to seven uh, every day. We're open Sundays, twelve to five, and that's until Christmas. Um, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much uh, for bringing these items in, and uh, I hope you at home will consider checking out Always in Vogue. You said it's played again. Workplace injuries hurt the most at home. There are soldiers in my family. I first joined the Legion to honor their service. Now I volunteer there to be of service myself. I know my membership helps Canadian veterans get the support they need. I've personally seen it help veterans get through some pretty dark times. Many have come out stronger than ever. For a lot of them, the Legion feels like home. It's nice to be part of that. with delicious goodness from Rocket Bakery. And Kelly Manzel, thank you so much for being with us today. I'm so excited to, to see all of this. I can't imagine trying to bake it myself. So um, uh, where do we even start? <laughs> so you bake all this in store. I mean, not just you, but I'm, right. but quite a staff. I would actually like to claim that I make it, but I don't. <laughs> I have to. I have to admit that first off, yeah. we have a great team of bakers, mm -hmm. and they have been working almost night and day on I'm all the sure. different things we have to offer. Um, yeah. yeah. So I could take you through some of them yeah, if you let's, like. let's do that. Well, first of all, you have three locations now. We have three locations. We, wow. we opened our third locations right before the snowmageddon, so, wow. <laughs> and then right before the pandemic. So that, yeah. that's the one in Mount Pearl. In Mount so it's, Pearl. it's getting yeah. its legs under it a little bit now. Sure. Um, and then one in Churchill Square, mm -hmm. and then of course down on Water Street. Of course. Yes. Well, I know my daughter loves these shortbreads. Oh, yes. With with the chocolate chips. Yeah. Uh, but tell us about some of other of the other things that you have here. Well, our, our actual best-selling uh, cookie is the ginger molasses cookie. That's mm -hmm. sort of our signature cookie. We've done it from day one, and people love it. It's chewy. Uh, it's not a it's not a ginger snap. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's almost like cookie dough mm -hmm. <laughs> when you when you get it in your mouth. Yeah. And um, then the two shortbreads are also popular. We sell them like we're constantly making them and packaging them and selling mm -hmm. them. And so we've got our plain mm -hmm. and and then chocolate. Mm -hmm. And um, well, this is a Newfoundland. I'll call it like a Newfoundland Nan favorite. Yes. I mean, my grandmother made these. My mother made them. Yes. Um, so where does the recipe come from? For um, some of these? It came from one of our bakers. It might have been Gary, actually. But it is a Newfoundland recipe. And, mm -hmm. and the reason we use the, the lady from the 50s or the 40s mm -hmm. on, the, on the label is because it has that vintage feel. And that's what Rocket's kind of all about. We, you know, yeah. we want you to feel like you're in your Nan's kitchen and... Um, so the taste, we want a traditional taste, mm -hmm. but we do twists on traditional flavors. Like, you know, where our fish cakes were very, are very popular, mm -hmm. but our versions are baked and they're not fried. And some right. people would be horrified that we do that, yeah. but we, we eliminate flour. So there are a lot of people that can't have flour. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
the fish cakes are gluten-free. Mm -hmm. And then, like I say, we bake them, we don't fry them, and we also reduce the sodium. They're, it's salt cod, but we yes. rinse it quite a bit. So we, what we do is um, we, we try to take a traditional um, item mm -hmm. and give it a bit of a rocket twist, yeah. modernize it a little bit, mm -hmm. and, uh, but still maintain that well, traditional flavor. You know flavor. what, one of the things that, that I really love uh, is, is what I call the buttery goodness of yeah. everything at Rocket. And yeah. you know, you most, you use real butter. Yeah, and we so have like 25 kilo blocks of, you know, we carve it off with a knife and yeah, yeah there's a and lot it's, of. You know, and, and I think that, you know, it's that kind of home fresh flavors <laughs> that you get. Uh, last year, uh, I think I was telling you, my daughter and I bought a selection of macaroons, and so we each had our own plate. Right. And, you know, just sat there and deliciously tasted each one and talked about it, and it was like a little event. Oh, that's it's nice. Self, so, yeah. yeah. And, I mean, especially with the mackerel, they, they, the way you bite into them and the and the resistance, it's a yeah. texture thing, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. Now people have to order those in advance, do they? No, we make them all the time. Like we're right. constantly making them. That's why they're so fresh because right. we're constantly making them. But um, you can you can order them. Like mm. if you need a, a huge batch, we can, we okay. can, yeah. So if I was having a party, you know, that's, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you can and order so those you, ahead you of time. And so you brought a party I did. Which... Now, the, the funny <laughs> thing, and it's part of what being Kelly Mansell is all about, <laughs> and that is that I brought this beautiful treat tray because um, this is a $55 treat tray that mm -hmm. we make at Rocket that we, a lot of, we do a lot of yeah. corporate gifts with this, yeah. but it slid off the back <laughs> seat and onto the floor. Well, yeah. So, yes. But still delicious, all <laughs> the same, I'm sure. Yes, and so it's, it's yeah, it's a yeah. beautiful array of our, of our yeah. food, but in a kind of tumbled mm -hmm. kind of way. But so, you can see um, we've taken a traditional gingerbread man. Here's another uh, example, and we've given it a mask this year. Oh, oh yes. great. Oh, so. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so you try to use local products too, right? Oh, like yeah. Like the cartridge berries there. Like you have yes. the cartridge berry jam. So. Yes. So, so what we do uh, for Christmas is we do a, a tri-pack. Now, I've just put, I just, for this, for the purposes of talking to you about it, I put three of our little partridge berries because we haven't labeled the blueberry ones yet. Uh -huh. And we've got a brand new jam, blackberry and rhubarb. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, I, I had this this uh, Instagram um, voting contest thing because a lot of people told me that Newfoundland blackberries are called plum boys. Oh. And I love that. I think, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. But blackberry the name blackberry yeah. won out so we've gone with blackberry rhubarb but i've put in black in brackets in the contents yeah um plum boys oh <laughs> <laughs> so and so you know i know you're a big advocate of supporting local and you know like we were saying before um you know buying a cookie is, is more than buying a cookie, right? Yes. So tell me about yes. that. Well, <laughs> I, I, I have spoken about this before, and that is, you know, when you spend money at my store or anyone's store, but all I can talk about is, is Rocket and how we use the money, you know? So if you were to spend $10 with us, so, you know, buying a, this is $7.95, this bag of cookies. Mm -hmm. So that $7.95 means that I can um, uh, Take, well, let's le let's use the example of blueberries. So I buy blueberries from a local farmer, and then I'm able to make with those blueberries lemon t lemon blueberry tarts. I've, I've spoken about before, mm -hmm. and so out of say half a pound of blueberries, I can make ten uh, blueberry tarts, and that they sell for five ninety five. That means that you know I made fifty nine dollars if I sell them. That fifty nine dollars I can then use for um, paying staff. And they can go out mm -hmm. and they can shop at another store. So it's, you've spent $10, but it, it's... It's the domino effect. It's a domino effect. Yeah. And, you know, we have in Newfoundland a small little, you know, economic ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And if we keep working together, not only to prevent COVID from coming mm -hmm. here, but also just helping each other by buying from our own people, mm -hmm. then um, we're going to we're going to prosper, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be a tough time this next year for everybody. But, you know, yeah. supporting local means so much more. And sometimes I think people don't hear it. And so that's or why I like they, to talk yeah, about it I in mean, a different and, and way. And it's so much more than a hashtag, right? You yes. know, you actually have to go out and do it. Yes. And so that's why I was, I invited you to here today. Yeah. And I'm so glad oh, you and were I able to, to share all of this because, yeah. um, you know, it is so important for us to, uh, to shop local, and right. uh, I'm sure Madeline and I will be down uh, again soon. Are, are you making the, the candy cane? 
macarons this year? Yes, so we have candy cane and we have vanilla and we have um, cinnamon bun because our oh, cinnamon buns. That's new. Yeah, it is a new one. <laughs> cinnamon buns are went, during the dark days of COVID when we were mm -hmm. all shut down. People wanted fish cakes from us. They wanted cinnamon buns and they wanted nan spread. So that's what we sold the most of and made the most of initially when we had, you know, we were in the kitchen. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, so. Kelly, thank you so much. You're and welcome. You at home, uh, go get your fish cakes and your cinnamon buns and your cookies and all fruit of cake. this. Oh, <laughs> even fruitcake uh, from Rocket Bakery at three locations. We'll be right back after these messages. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. And we're back, this time with Kim Patton of Wink and the Newfoundland Weavery. Thank you so much for coming in today, Kim. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you for having so me. So I watched your little sip and share last night on Instagram, and I see you brought in some of these beautiful things today. Um, and of course, you know, big push now on uh, supporting local, um, and you have two stores in yes. St. John's. Yes, so we have Wink, and then uh, a couple years ago, I purchased the Newfoundland Weavery, which is located downtown. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, very much kind of gifty type stores, kind of gifts for yourself, special little things. Let's start with the, some of the Wink items. Yeah, Maybe for you sure. you can show our guests some of the things that- Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you're not familiar with Wink, uh, Wink, we carry art jewelry and things. One of the main focuses that we carry is jewelry. So we have mm -hmm. designers from all across Canada and the US, mm -hmm. um, but I. I figured I would show the top trend items mm -hmm. of the season. So first off, we'll talk about um, our disco ball earrings. These are the number one seller that are happening for Christmas. So mm -hmm. these, we have them in all, multiple colors, but I thought I'd bring in the Christmas colors because yeah. these are just flying off the shelves. And so who's wearing these? Everybody. Like everybody. Everybody. Okay. Yeah, and the little studs, they come much smaller, so we have lots of little girls that wear, like the little ones, and then sometimes mm -hmm. you do Mommy Me, and, and then the dangle earrings. Like, I'm not a big uh, dangle wearer, but the studs I absolutely love, and they come in multiple colors. And so this over here, that's the blue, some of the blue dory. That's yeah, more. Yeah, so this is, I had to, had to bring some of my own jewelry, so this is Dory Blue Labradorite. Um, it's a, another company that I have, so we carry and design Labradorite, because that is our provincial mineral in Newfoundland and Labrador. So I figured I'd feature a couple pieces. So we mainly focus in the rough Labradorite, which you can see on the pendant there. And um, then we have lots of little necklaces, really great price points. But mm -hmm. everybody I find, whether you're a tourist oh, or locally, yes. everyone yeah. loves Labradorite. And that's so. available at both stores? Yes, at both Excellent. stores. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And so another big seller is the sparkle mask. Yes, the sparkle mask. So obviously with COVID, you know, we have to embrace the, the mask. Why mm -hmm. not do it in style? Um, so we managed to get glitter masks. So they have been going like crazy. And I mean like ordering them hundreds at a time. So oh, wow. great colors. Um, we are out of stock of the black and gold because they've been selling out because that's, you know, the Christmas kind of colors. Of course. Um, and they're great price points. I believe they're $20 a mask. And mm -hmm. they have a nice cotton liner on the inside as well. And then mm -hmm. we also have them in kids. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And so this basket, this is really nice because sometimes you want to get someone you know something and you might not know exactly what their preference is. Oh, are. absolutely. So, the, so this nice. is, yeah, so this is our Christmas theme basket. It's $99. It features like our top selling lines, um, but it's a great kind of gift for anybody, especially like you just mentioned, the ones that you don't really know what to get. And they're yeah. really great corporate gifts too. So Excellent. they're fabulous. Excellent. So I have to say, I love these socks. I know. I would call them vamps. I know. You know, I know people have all different words yeah. for them, but yeah. they are glorious. So the trigger mitts and the socks, they're Newfoundland made, I assume. Yes, so these yeah. are done by Marie's Knits, so that we exclusive um, with Marie's Knits and Newfoundland Weavery. Um, we have lots of sweaters, but I just figured I'd pull our top sellers. Uh -huh. Everyone needs a pair of wool socks for Christmas. Absolutely, yeah. they're yeah. beautiful. And this, I know. So is this 
a blank. Like I would want to wear this. I it's know. It's so beautiful. I know. So this is um, this is a Newfoundland tartan with a mousse. So this is a company that's actually based out of Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and over the years, because if you did not know, Weavery's been open since 1972, which yes. is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so they actually decided to do a custom blanket for us. So it's called Cashmink. Is a material. So it feels like cashmere, but it's not cashmere. It, yeah. It really. Yeah. Like it is so soft. I know. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So that's definitely number one seller this season um, mm -hmm. at the Newfoundland Weavery for sure. And now I saw you talking about this one last night. The East yes, Coast so East Glow. Coast Glow, you can get that at Wink or the Newfoundland Weavery, and of course you can get it online. Um, but East Coast Glow, um, they're based out of Bonavista. They do their skincare products in small batches, um, mm -hmm. and they just released their new packaging. So this is in a glass bottle. This is their number one product, and it's the foam uh, soap. Oh, yeah. lovely, yeah. lovely. And how about these slippers? I'm all about the slippers. Well, we all are, because we're working, well, so many of us are working I know, from home, I know, right? absolutely. You don't, you don't have to wear your heels. When it's right? <laughs> I know. Ever since COVID happened, we've been selling out of slippers and casual wear, and like especially in Newfoundland Weavery, we have women's and men's wear and kids' clothing there okay. as well. But it's all kind of gone to the leisurely way. But mm -hmm. these are our top-selling slippers. They're gar uh, Garneau. They're all Canadian-made, sheepskin, and like they're amazing. So warm. Beautiful. Now, tell me about this... Uh, uh, artwork. Yeah, I've seen this on Facebook. Yeah, so this is Adam Young. He's mm -hmm. based out of Fogo Island. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely love his work. Um, I've been emailing him, be like, can we please have your stuff in our store? <laughs> uh, so we finally got his canvas prints in. We also have his calendars as well. We're sold out of those at the moment, but uh, beautiful. Well, how nice for you selling out. I of know, things, selling right? out. It's good. It's like mm -hmm. the 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 thing you always see. It's like everybody's worst horror story. It's like mm -hmm. sold out, but yeah. that's what's happening this season. Fabulous. Um, so his stuff is beautiful. Absolutely love mm -hmm. it. And now this is so interesting. This I know. I got to hold it up. I have here. to hold it up. So this is um, another local company, Dunn Design. Um, they're based in Portugal Cove. Um, they use reclaimed wood mm -hmm. um, and then they have the resin in the middle. So this is their river board. Absolutely Beautiful. love All their work. All for those charcuterie people who are yeah. so organized. I mean, everyone got to have a cheese board at Christmas. Exactly. Like, you know. Yeah. Um, but what I love about it is that each piece is unique, one yeah, of a kind. And it looks You're, like a river. It's, I know. It's glorious. I know. Yeah. And they're all one of a kind. So no matter what you what mm -hmm. you know, what one you get, and they come in different colors. So we get black, clear, the blue, there's blush, there's all kinds of different colors. So what's the time for your stores? You know, what's your hours? Yeah, so right just... now, um, for both locations, we're open ten to six, but starting December, which is next week, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna be moving to seven PM. I believe we decided on Thursday and Fridays. Mm -hmm. um, but our online stores are open 24-7. Fantastic. And one thing that I'll just chirp in there real quick, um, we are doing we are doing in-store pickups, so you can shop online and pick up at your convenience, which has really been a saver for a lot of people. So, Kim, thank you so much <gasps> for joining for us today. Um, and I hope our guests at home maybe have seen something that uh, they can add to their yes, shopping for list. for sure. We'll be right back after these messages. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. Thanks for joining us for our holiday shopping support local show. I encourage you to support local businesses this holiday season, such as Always in Vogue, Rocket Bakery, Wink, and the Newfoundland Weavery. Of course, there's so many others to explore as well. And it's more important than ever that we support our local community. Join us next time on Out of the Fog. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media.
My mother said we had to leave home. The communists were going to take my father away. If my parents were afraid, they didn't show us. But we would never forget our escape from Vietnam. <laughs>